In this section, I want to talk about prefix list. But before talking about prefix list, I want to add some networks to my router so that ISP1 is going to participate in RIP process here. So I need to add 31, 31, 31 for router 3 and ISP1. Now I need to add 100, 148 for ISP1 and router 4. Let's go to router 4. I have done some parts of this previously, but I want to add this to rip here. Click on plus sign, 100, 100, uh, 48, 0 slash 24 is the prefix that I want to add to uh, rip process. Okay. Now I want to make sure that ISP1 has this enabled. As you can see, if I go to ISP1, go to rod and rip, I have network 100, 100, 100, 0. This is the loopback 0 of ISP1. I have 100, 148. This is the link between router 4 and ISP1. And I have 31, 31, 31. This is the link between router 3 and ISP1. Now, let's go to routes and check to see if ISP1 is receiving updates. As you can see, ISP1 is receiving updates. And what I am interested in is this, 4440. It has a metric of 2. It has come from brother 4, 100, 148, 104. Okay? Now, I want to make some changes to my network. I want this link not to be used to reach to router 4 loopback 0. Assuming that I have a loopback 0 on router 4, if I try to reach this from router 3, I have two different paths. The first path comes to ISP1 in one hop, comes to router 4 in the second hop, and goes to its loopback 0 in the third hop. The other route is this way. It goes to router 1, from there to router 2, from there to router 4, and from there to loopback 0. This is 4 hop, but this way it is 3 hop. So let's see which of them is used by router 3. If I go to router 3, and check routes here for 4440. You can see that it is using the route from ISP1, 31, 31, 31, and it has a metric of 3. Now I want to change this behavior. I don't want this link to be used to uh, you know, access router 4's loopback 0. Actually, I want this link. This link should be deleted. How can I do this? How can I achieve this? We have a feature that is called prefix list. So let's go to router 4 and configure a prefix list. If I go to routing, we have prefix list here. Click on this plus, uh, click on this, and then click on this plus sign. The chain is going to be, for example, rip out, because I am going to configure this outbound. And we can have it inbound as well, but here I don't want to advertise rather for loopback zero this way. So actually I am filtering this outbound. Okay. What is the prefix that I am interested in? 4440 slash 24 is the prefix. And the action is going to discard the prefix. Click on OK. Now I have a prefix list here. Let me maximize this and go to rod and rip again. And here, go to interfaces. Click on this plus sign. I want to select the interface that goes to router ISP1. That's Ethernet 2. So let's go to select Ethernet 2. Everything is going to be as default, but here I have an out prefix list that is rip out. Select it and click on apply and click on OK. Now let's check if it is working. If I go to ISP1 and check for this, I can see that this is not going to be updated from this way. I need to wait for some time and see if it is updated. As you can see, now updates come, uh, come from another place. Again, I need to wait to see what happens to this prefix. It is timing out. 
and I am not receiving this from this way. Actually, after some time, I need to see that this is going to be accessible from router 3 and it has a metric of, for example, 5 or 6 or something like this. But, as you can see, this is timing out. Okay, now let's go to router 3 and check this. If I go to router 3, you can see that it is timing out. I am receiving this from 31, 31, 31 because it is still in its database. But after router ISP1 has timed out this prefix, that is about 1 minute 28 seconds from now, it is going to be advertised to router 3 as well, and the advertisement will come from the other way. Okay, let's wait for this. Now you can see that the metric changes to 16. This means that this is not accessible. Now let's go to router 3 and see if it is working. As you can see now, router 3 is receiving 4444 from router 1. And after some times, it is going to advertise this to ISP1. And ISP1 will receive this route with a metric of 5, as you can see from 31, 31, 31, 103, that is router 3. This is the way that prefix list works. And of course, I can configure an inbound prefix list for some other prefixes and add it to specific interface. But now you know the concept as you can do this.